Long before someone thought of technical schools or career colleges, becoming an apprentice in order to gain career knowledge was an established practice. In fact, the value of learning by doing was esteemed so highly in the past that apprentices were expected to pay skilled craftsmen for the privilege of their teaching. But as the world of work has become more complex, so have apprenticeship programs. They are formalized and registered agreements, with tests to pass and licensing to achieve. The agreements between the employee and employer specify the length of training, usually about 2,000 hours of on-the-job training and 144 hours of classroom training per year for one to five years. There is also a progressive wage schedule spelled out in the agreement. Rather than being apprenticed to an individual, many people learn a trade through programs operated through unions, builders, corporations, or schools. But many skills are still learned the old-fashioned way, experience passed along to a new generation on the job. The relationship between teacher and apprentice is vitally important. The teacher must be patient and must communicate as well as demonstrate. The apprentice must be willing to accept criticism, be a good listener, and be able to proceed at the pace set by the instructor. Whether through a traditional apprentice program, such as those formalized for construction and manufacturing skills, or through the on-the-job system of assigning the new employee to work alongside an experienced hand, hundreds of jobs include the apprenticeship phase as a way of learning what's expected and of evaluating the employee's ability. Learning from another's experience can help you build a career. It might also save your life.